Hello, my fellow discus lovers. I'd make a little video tonight. Don't mind the extra sponge filters. Uh, I had to do that because I'm having a little trouble with uh, city tap water. They spiked it with chloramine, high levels of chloramine. There's normally chloramine in my tap water, but they put like an abusive amount and uh, it threw my cycle out. So I've thrown these in from my other tank to help increase my biological filtration because chloramine, if there's a large amount of it, uh, it'll release uh, ammonia into the water when you dechlorinate. And oh, here's my sidekick, uh, Mr. Greg. Hello, Mr. Greg. Where are you? Hey, hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, yes. You just come to come to get in on things, have we? Yes. Yes. He's a good boy. So, uh, so yeah, I've uh, I had to grab a couple products help me through this and uh, because my my uh, ammonia levels are well into the green on the uh, test kit which I don't like seeing it's dangerous green not light green so I picked up these um, couldn't find the sea chem equivalents uh, I will be hunting those down shortly but uh, This one's to add more biologics. Mr. Greg's up here on my shoulders right now. And uh, this one's to help manage poop and pee. To keep the uh, ammonia down from that. That combined with some massive water changes uh, seems to be getting me through. And uh, oh my god, Greg, please, we're trying to do a video. Okay? We're trying to do a video, old guy. To calm down. But yeah, sorry about Greg, guys. He just, when he wants attention, he wants his attention. He's a good boy, though. A very a dog like cat. And he's, uh, he's not independent. He's, he's dog like in the sense he's codependent. But uh, yeah, other than, other than my chloramine issues. Everything's been do doing great. Fish are doing doing wonderful. Still got a couple Heidi guys back here. Um, they don't like it when I'm in the room. When I leave the room, put a camera on them. They uh, they do their thing. You can see that uh, he's not starving. His his head's staying fat, so he's eating when I'm not around. And uh, they're showing good color. They're just. Uh, they're just still shy of me. They're just shy. We've got a couple of those, but the rest of them are uh, very active. And, you know, constantly nibbling. And, yes, and of course, Mr. Greg's letting us know everything. But, uh, yeah, so uh, things are going well. Things are going well. Getting the new oops, sorry, but that, getting the new fish past the that first month hump that uh, seems to seems to be an issue every time I bring a discus home. I got three to four weeks of bullshit, and then they finally decide to uh, they finally decide that the environment is safe and they start acting like like proper fish, like these guys all up front. They're not afraid of me at all. They love when I'm around because they know I'm food. And they know I put my hand in and they come right up to it and they follow me around while I gravel vacuum um, which is a little scary but uh, you know they're not worried about me I'm just these these few in the back there but I think I'm about three weeks in with this new batch of, uh, of uh, stecklers and uh, the majority of them are just fine so uh, we'll just keep rolling with it, and they should snap out of it soon, I would think. Because um, it seems to take three weeks to a month, and then, then they snap out of it. 
even the boss of the tank here, Big Red, he didn't eat. He stayed up in the corner for a good three weeks. And, uh, and then now he's, 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 he's the boss hog. So. But anyhow, that's where we're at for today. And uh, water's nice and beautifully clear. Those UVs are just kicking butt. It's, it's, they're a beautiful thing. Hope you guys have a great day.